Now, I want to show you a demonstration how to carry out this activity. First, dip a drinking straw into the water and cover the top using your finger. Then, lift up the drinking straw and lift your finger to drop the water. Now, observe the water droplet. Next, I will do it on the steel spoon. This is a steel spoon. You are much advisable to put your material on a tray on a plate. Okay, we do the same thing. Don't don't put it too much. Okay, just put a bit. Top, uh, cover the top using your finger. Lift up the uh, drinking straw. You can see the water on the bottom of drinking straw, and then drop on the spoon. Okay, now do you see the water droplet compared to the water droplet on uh, compared to the observation on the cotton uh, facial cotton? Okay, you can see the water droplet is there, but the water droplet is gone on the facial cotton. Record your observa observation in a table. Next. Record your observation on a table. For example, when you drop a water droplet on a steel spoon, you can see the water droplet is present. So you tick right here. And what's the inference? The inference could be the steel spoon do not absorb water. Next, we use uh, we drop the water on the facial cotton. The water droplet absent. The inference is facial cotton absorb the water. Please complete for all the material. For the next activity, you must have a container filled with water. About half full is okay. And prepare your material. We are going to determine the ability of the materials to float or sink. Okay, let's put the material one by one in the container. I have rubber, rubber band, coin, drinking straw, I use a small one, pencil, small stone, you can find it anywhere next to the road, but be careful. Key and this one piece of polystyrene. Wait after two minutes and then observe where is where are the materials. Are the materials on the water surface or at the bottom of the container? Next, record the observation for the second activity. For example, steel spoon. You can see at the bottom of the container. So, the inference is steel spoon sink. Please continue for the next material. For the next activity, I would like to show you how to carry out to determine the property of materials according to its ability to allow light to pass through. I have this, a piece of paper with a letter A written on it. First, take a plastic book wrapper. Okay, put the Put the letter beyond it. Can you see the letter clearly? Okay, then put aside. 
Next, take a colored plastic file. Put the letter beyond the plastic file. Can you see the letter clearly? Put aside and next we will test using cardboard. We put the letter A under the cardboard. Can you see the letter A? Don't forget to record your observation in the table. For the third activity, please record your observation whether the letter A or any other object can be clearly seen or not clearly seen or cannot be seen at all. For example, when I put the letter A beyond the plastic paper, the letter A can be seen clearly. So, the inference could be plastic paper allow all lights to pass through. If I use cardboard, the letter A cannot be seen at all. The inference could be cardboard does not allow light to pass through. Please continue to your activity and record the observation.